Banga. And I'm Gavin Crawford. Welcome to another edition of Quantum. I'm here with Cooper and Kira, two of our B team and fan volleyball players. Hey Panthers, my name is Drew Conti, and I'm here at our teacher's working truck. Today, I am at the annual Lipson battle. This is a battle between some of our very own Pioneer Panthers. I'm most excited to be with a bunch of my friends and watch a football game. Good evening, Panthers. I'm Brandon Ryan. I'm here at Pioneer Heritage Middle School. Good afternoon, Panthers. I'm Archie Vanga. And I'm Gavin Crawford. Welcome to the first broadcast of 2024. We hope the break treated you well, and we are so happy to have you back at school. To lead us in, let's kick it off with our student showcase, where we'll be celebrating someone very special. This student is someone very close to us and someone very special. He is involved in theater and choir and is an eighth grader. This student is also on the Claw News team. This student is the one and only Zihao Zhang. Zihao is so bright and colorful. He is always finding ways to make others smile with his sarcastic words and bold personality. He can always light up a room. Let's talk to some of the Claw News team about him. Zihao is so nice and always gets his work done on time. Zihao is very nice and kind and he's always there for me whenever I need help with anything. Zihao is an amazing student. He has a very caring personality and um, is very willing to help other students around him. He is funny in my class, and he's just an amazing student to have in my class. Congratulations, Zihao, and thank you for being such a good friend on the team. Speaking of teams, we recently had a seventh grade boys basketball game and where the boys faced off the Cobb Cyclones. Let's go hand it over to Brayden for more coverage. Good afternoon Panthers, it's Brady Ryan. Today I'm here at Pioneer Heritage Middle School. Our Pioneers are playing against the Clark Cyclones. Uh, we're trying to come back from our last game. We lost sadly, but you know, I know we're going to do good today. Hey, I'm here with Alex, who scored six points at today's basketball game, and I can't believe y'all won. What do you think the key to success at winning this game was? Um, I think just moving the ball around, stealing it, putting it up, um, full court press, and just teamwork, and just all together, Good chemistry. I agree. Teamwork is absolutely the most important in there. Without your team, you can't do anything. It's not a solo act. Well, thank you for sharing. All of our seventh grade basketball players did an amazing job today. All three teams won against Cobb. C team won with 21 to 9, B team won with 32 to 14, and A team won 49 to 46. Amazing job once again to our seventh grade basketball players. Hello Panthers, I'm here with our 18 players, our winners. All three of our teams won today. I'm so happy for them. Connor, what do you think you did best on this today? Uh, finishing all my fast breaks and dishing the ball to my open teammates. Absolutely, that was beautiful. What do you think you did best on? Uh, I, think, I think I did good on passing the ball a lot and getting the rebounds and putting it back up. Definitely, putting it back up and rebounds, also important. I'm so proud of y'all. I know y'all are gonna do great in future games. I'm Braden Ryan. It's Miss Natera here. So I am coming to you today because we are getting a lot of questions about 
how to be on the CLAW News team. Things are going to be a little bit different with the application process for next year, so I wanted to take this opportunity on our CLAW News broadcast to explain those things to you. So in the past, Digital Communications One has been a prerequisite in order to apply to be in Digital Communications Two, which is the CLAW News team. So the first change is, Digital Communications 2 is now going to be called Broadcast. So Broadcast is essentially the CLAW News team. And Digital Communications 1, it's no longer a prerequisite for the class, which means that if you are an incoming 7th grade student, you can also apply to be on the CLAW News team. So here are some things to consider. If you already have some experience with video editing, if you have some public speaking or performing experience like theater, um, and you feel like those are some really good strengths of yours that you bring to the table, then I think that you know it's possible you could be a good fit for broadcast slash CLAW News team, and I would encourage you to apply. Um, it still is an application process that you have to go through, and the counselors can show you where the link to that is. It's on the council page of our, our Pioneer um, Heritage website. Um, but also, if you, you know, just are interested in doing it in eighth grade, but don't yet have that kind of experience, then anyone can sign up to be in Digital Communications 1 and, and learn those skills and get that year under your belt. And then, as an eighth grade student, you can then apply to be in broadcast slash the CLAW News team. So there are some different options available to you. Um, one thing I will say is that if you are accepted onto the CLAW News team, um, and, and you've never taken digital communications, and we need to go over some basics for, um, for your video editing skills, then I will be assigning some mandatory pride times during this spring semester to those students in order to teach you some of those basics so that you're ready to go in the fall whenever we start school again. So just keep that in mind. Um, it's something that would be a little bit of an extra responsibility um, for you to take on. So if you are struggling a little bit with your course load, then you know you may want to just kind of reconsider that if, if that's where your mindset is. So you feel free to email me at any time if you have questions on this process. My email address is nateraT at friscoisd.org. You can always stop by my classroom anytime, and then definitely you can ask your counselors if you have questions on this. Um, and I guess that's it. So good luck. Um, hope to see all of you next year in either Digital Communications One or broadcast slash the Claw News team. Make sure if you're interested in the talent show, you go out and audition so you can show off whatever your talent may be. Another place our Panthers were able to show their talent was the 8th grade girls basketball game. Let's see how they did with Penny on camera. Hey Panthers, it's Penelope Smith. Today I'm here at our 8th grade girls basketball game where we're facing off against the Pearson Patriots. We haven't played them yet this season, but I have a feeling our Panthers are going to do really great. Our C team went first. They had a rough start to their game, but they managed to stick it out to the end. Sadly, their game ended in a loss. I'm here with Kendall and Dania. So Kendall, what do you think the hardest part of your game today was? Um, I think the hardest part of our game was instead of just throwing the basket, so we had to uh, be patient and square up to the goal. I still think you guys did a really great job on shooting, though. What about you, Dania? I think we struggled with sprinting down the court when the other team stole the ball. I still think you all did a really great job on defense. So how did you guys work as a team to overcome all these issues? We listened to Coach Williams and Coach House. We talked to each other on the court. I think communication is really important. Our B team game was the most exciting one to watch. They played great and had great defense, but sadly they lost 15 to 19. Cadence. So Cadence, what do you think the hardest part of your game today was? I think the hardest part was the defense because they had really good defense so it's hard to get past them and get to the basket. Y'all were really close so I can tell that you definitely blocked them a lot and did a really great job on that. How do you think you worked as a team to kind of overcome that? 
Uh, I think talking more, because when we talk, we know what's going on, and it can help us out, like, getting past them. Yeah, communication, as mentioned before, is a very important skill. Our A-team game was the closest by far. We were down six points in the fourth quarter, but we were able to pull it through, with Caitlin Moyle scoring two free throws and pushing us up to 33-31 to to win the game. I'm here with Caitlin and Cooper. So Caitlin, what do you think was the key to your success tonight? I think it was the teamwork and all the cheering and the happiness, and we kept going for the shots even though like we missed them. Yeah, those last, that last minute was really energetic. What about you, Cooper? Um, I think we worked really good as a team, and like we just collaborated, and once we saw that we were down, we knew how to bring it back and take the win. Y'all did a really great job, and I'm so proud of all. I'm so proud of all of our teams tonight for doing really great. Our B and C team sadly lost, but our A team won. That's all for me. I'm Penelope Smith. Hey Panthers, I'm Clara Humphrey, and today I'm at Pioneer for the eighth grade boys basketball game versus the Pearson Patriots. I've never been to an eighth grade game here at Pioneer, so I'm excited to see if we can beat some Patriot butt. Hey Panthers, I'm with Charlie and Landon. So Charlie, what, what do you think you guys' team could do better on? Uh, we need to do better on dropping back into zone because when the ball's at half court with them, uh, we do horrible about dropping back in. Well, it happens. And what do you think, Landon? Uh, we need to work better on like passing the ball. Sometimes we're turning over the ball off passes. All right. And since we're, since we're, since we're talking about the bad stuff, what do you guys think you guys did good on? Uh, i say we get, did good on running uh, five out, probably. And what about you? I would say Gabriel's nice no-look pass to Max. It was, it was really good. Thank you guys so much. So Cole, I just saw you score a lot of points, so please tell us what, what your most memorable part of the game was. When I hit that three in the corner, it was just an ice moment for me. It was really good and thank you so much and good game. I'm here with Coach Wilson. Coach Wilson, if you had to claim an a MVP tonight, who would it be? I'd have to go with the C team. I think the, the C team as a whole, not just one individual. They, uh, they worked really hard. They let Pioneer, I mean, uh, they let Pearson get back in it. And Pioneer was like, no, we're not going to do that. We're just going to go ahead and win this game. So uh, I think the C team, they're, they're the MVP tonight. I totally agree. And, and good job, all Panthers. Even though some of our teams won, and some of our teams lost. Everyone did great and they were so aggressive. Thank you so much for watching, I'm Claire Humphrey. Amazing game for our boys. Agreed. We also have so many amazing teachers and staff here at Pioneer, which can only mean one thing. It's time for Staff Spotlight. Let's see whose turn it is to shine. For this edition of Claw News, our Staff Spotlight is none other than the one and only David Ward. Mr. Ward is our choir director who is loved by everyone and is a shining star. Let's see what some of the staff members and students have to say about him. Who is that? So I think Mr. Ward really deserves this award because he's a really kind teacher and he always helps us understand our music and he just betters our learning every day. So I think he really deserves this award. 
So I nominated Mr. Ward because I think that, you know, it's hard to come on to a new campus and just kind of like make your own path and create your own program um, that's reflective of your personality and your teaching style. And I just think that he's done a really amazing job. Um, he's got such a positive attitude. He works really hard. He cares for the kids a lot. Um, I love hearing him next door, always doing their warm-ups and um, practicing all their music for their concerts. Um, he's just got a lot of enthusiasm and just genuine investment in helping the kids grow not only as people but as musicians and I think we're just really lucky to have him here on campus so Mr. Ward we're happy to have you thank you for all that you do okay. Mr. Ward is a really kind teacher and I think he deserves this award because he is a really nice choir director and he's really funny and he makes sure that we get all of our techniques down congratulations to Mr. Ward for being such a nice addition to our school yes thank you so much and thank you for joining us for this edition of Claw News. Make sure to check out our Panther podcast and pop print. Also, our student-led YouTube shorts. Thanks again for joining us. I'm Archie Vanga. And I'm Gavin Crawford. Panther, Panther Nation, Nation, Panther Pride. baka blika blue ah. Hello. I'm here with Boudou and Alan, our B-team players. And they won this game. I'm so proud of them. I feel like a proud father. I just love them so much. Hey Panthers, I'm Clara Humphrey, and today I am at Pioneer for... I don't know what to do! Hey Panthers, today... Hi! Amazing game for all boys! Like, what do you want me to do, bro? Just like that. Okay. Just like that, bro, no. The flaming is do, gonna be crazy. Do, do, I'm actually gonna be a laughing stone. Alright, it's recording. Good afternoon, Panthers. I'm Arshi Vanga. <laughs> Brother, it seems like I'm held hostage, bro. <laughs>